All right, look, I I have seen all I'm going to see uh, out of this situation. Look, uh, so the Giants, my favorite baseball team, San Francisco Giants, the team that I've cheered for since I was seven years old, 42 now. I've cheered for this team my whole life. I mean, I was there in the three world championships. I was there in uh, all the times they would get eliminated by the Dodgers on the last day of the season, all the bad seasons, um, the rebuild seasons. You know, I've been as frustrated as any Giants fan um, there is. A lot of times, you know, I have broken remotes and, uh, you know, I question still to this day why LeVon Hernandez started Game 7 of the 2002 World Series and why Solomon Torres, you know, pitched the last day of the season in 93 versus the Dodgers. I've been with this team my, my whole life and frustrated by this team my whole life. But all these radio guys, all these shock jocks, um, bad mouth from the Giants and saying, oh, well, uh, I'm done with the Giants because they didn't sign Carlos Correa. I'm done with this team. You know, I'm just done. And, you know, I won't be showing up and I'm done. You, you know what? When you adopt a ball team, you stick with that ball team. Uh, that baseball team for the rest of your life. You know, I will never uh, change my loyalty to my baseball team because they're having a rough time and the whole Korea thing got botched. And all these Giants fans should be literally ashamed of themselves for trashing the team that we love and respect. And, you know, no matter what you say, if you love the San Francisco Giants and they're in your heart, you know, whether they have a crappy year, whether they have a good year, um, you stick with them through next season. You don't give up because they didn't sign one player, because they botched one signing or something happened where they didn't get Carlos. They don't need Carlos Correa. The Giants have won before Correa, and they'll win after Correa. You know, it's, it, you know, it was a bad contract anyways, 13 years for 300. He's not, he wasn't going to be the face of the franchise. This team will develop out of the minor league system and they'll win again, you know? It's just, I, I hate to see so-called, like I said, so-called Giants fans, true hardcore fans, shit all over our team and our franchise and say, oh, I'm not going to watch. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, stick with the program, stick with the process. The San Francisco Giants are going to be just fine. You know, are you going to give up on your team because they didn't sign Correa? And they didn't sign Air Judge. And when the season goes on, life goes on. They're going to win again. Maybe it's not in 2023. Maybe it's going to take a couple of years, but they'll be back. You know, and I, honestly, I think they're going to be competitive in 2023. I think they're going to be competitive. They were 81 and 81 last year, and it was a frustrating year for all the Giants fans coming off 107 wins. I get it. But they were, what, 10, 15 wins from making the playoffs last year? You know, once they get some late inning bullpen help and once they get some, um, you know, decent hitters in the lineup, and I know, oh, they could have had Korea. You don't need to pay $335 million for them. Invest in your minor league system, you know, and keep rolling with the process, you know, but don't give up on your team because of a, a rough stretch, a rough patch. You know, you're going to give up on being a Giants fan. Uh, you know, a true Giants fan is going to stick with this team no matter what happens. So I just, shame on you guys all shitting on the Giants and shitting on your team. You know, you guys are not true Giants fans because good, bad, we stick with our team.